Y'all should know what Nibiru does, not exactly how it reads. There is a difference, but here's what matters. It in the summon token is level 11 and will likely be the monster with the highest attack on field. Everybody got that? Yeah. Tribute monsters from your field only because it would say either field otherwise, whose total levels are at least 11, Nibiru or the token, the special summon Thea. Then if you control no other monsters, you can destroy the highest attack monster on the field, which should theoretically be Nibiru. If you summoned it or the token, if your opponent did, you can technically tribute any monster, but why would you want to do that? You wouldn't. This should go without saying Nibiru and Thea. Nigga, that shit go together. It's a rock. Type so Gal and Granite can search the one you don't have because they go together. Evil hero dark guy requires a rock monster as material. You might be playing the Biru and or Thea in some evil hero thing. I'm just saying, I haven't forgotten this other effect. I'm getting to it. Not tomorrow, not after breakfast. Now. Neither player can normal and or special summon more than four times. So Nibiru gets dropped on five summons and Thea gets dropped when Nibiru gets dropped on five summons and prevents more than four summons, five being more than four, huh? If Nibiru is the meteor, then I guess Thea is what was in the meteor because the primal being token kind of looks like Thea. What that mean? Expanded Nibiru lore. Yeah!